Christian Bird, the young lady of substance. She is a freelance journalist, a model, an actress, and a jewelry designer with her own label. Nikita was also the youngest journalist ever to be part of the Indian media delegation to St. Petersburg, Russia, 2017. Nikita, I'm very happy that you are here. Good morning, respected teachers, proud parents, and students. I'd like to start by thanking my first teacher in school, Seema ma'am, and my first role model in life, Meeta Rai ma'am, for giving me this opportunity. It is indeed an honor to stand before you all today. Nine years ago, I remember being on the other side of this podium, and I was waiting excitedly for the batch, the sash, Okay, I was waiting excitedly, plucking the grass. Ki kab ye speeches khatam ho, to kab me apne friends ke saath celebrate karne jao. <laughs> that were my thoughts. But today, I can proudly say that Delhi Public School is the foundation on which I have built my life. My earliest memories are those of walking into a classroom, thinking I'm the cat's whiskers. But I was very dismayed, in fact, disappointed, that I am no longer the center of attention. I am no longer the center of the universe, the way I am at my parents' house, the way I am treated back home. I'm just another kid in a sea of humanity. So began a struggle, a struggle waged by every dipsite to prove themselves. From being monitor to prefect, to getting a scholar badge, scholarship, proficiencies, blue coat, blue tie, and finally, this coveted post. The post over here, which is the epitome of success in this school. And throughout the struggle, I always had my parents to support me, especially on Sundays, because we had a Monday test the very next day. I'm sure her parents can relate to this. <laughs> And uh, whenever my test would be over on a Monday, my parents would ask me, how was the paper? How was the paper? And I would just say one thing. I lost half mark in German. I lost one mark over here and I lost two marks over there. Same for the exams. And God forbid, Alok or Aditi, they got a mark more than me. Then I wouldn't come second. I wouldn't come third. I wouldn't get a rank. And I asked my friends, the ones from other schools and in my colony, how was your paper? They would say, it was awesome. The paper was rocking, dude, rocking. <laughs> Never mind, some of them barely passed. But their paper was always awesome. And they would always tell me, kya yaar, is half mark ke piche roti rehti hai, extra eight mark ke piche, it will make no difference. But I can tell you this today. It will make a difference. The difference between being somebody, being somewhere, and being just anywhere. It is not about the mark. It is about the attitude towards winning, which we learn in this school, that counts. The difference, it is the difference between getting a promotion and not getting a promotion. Clinching that deal or that project or not getting that deal. This is what DPS teaches us. It teaches us to fight. It teaches us to survive in a world of cutthroat competition. That is what I have learned as a disciple. Today you are all leaders. But what is a leader? Is it just about having a big social media following? Is it about being a dictator? Is it just about power? No. A leader is someone who knows the way, who shows the way, and goes the way. A leader is someone who does not make excuses. A leader takes initiative. When everyone else is saying, chalta hai, a leader says, chalte hai. A leader stands up. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's what makes a leader. I'm a journalist. I travel across the globe. And I have met a lot of eminent personalities and people right from actors, doctors, scientists, lawyers, you name it, I have met them. And all of them are successful in their own fields. And do you want to know what is that one common thing all these successful people have? It is not about their degrees. 
it is not about their grooming what is that one thing that all of them have i'll tell you they know what they want they figure out what is the price of getting what they want and then they consciously decide to pay it you see to be successful you need to make a trade off to be here today all of you have made some trade off it could be hours of social media it could be television hanging out with friends you have put in the extra hours of hard work and persistence to be here today that's what it takes and the higher you go the more the trade off you see the place on the top is narrow so the bigger the mountain you want to scale the more the heights you want to touch the more you'll have to trade it off with something i'll give you an example so when i was 18 i was chosen for this very coveted internship in hindustan times and my beats were page 3 my friends would be chilling in a taj ccd or a fancy cafe across my college in chanakyapuri and uh, they would tell me yaar nikita teri life badi glamorous hai indeed glamorous thi being in the same room as a sharukh khan or a saif ali khan and interviewing a famous personality was a big deal at that point especially at 18 but you know the trade off there was a trade off i used to wake up at 5 am every single morning for 3 months and what would i do i would go to college like any other student attend my classes go for my society practices i was a part of the debating society and the dramatic society attend my society meetings 4:30 every day sharp be in connaught place in the hindustan times office waiting this time to be able to go for the page 3 event in the evening and it was not always just one event or two sometimes there were three events in a day and i would be home never before 233 i had to trade off sleep and see my parents worried pacing up and down the room but i had a passion so i fought for it so what i understand of success is that to give up something in order to go up you have to give up in order to go up so please but i'm not saying give up on your academics or your studies okay <laughs> please what i'm saying is that you need to give up on your comfort zone you also don't have to give up on your passions so it's not about either or that either i will study or i'll have fun it's about and you can have both of the best of both worlds they can both be yours so i as a kid throughout school life was very very passionate about one thing my first love my only love eating <laughs> i was 75 kg at 54 so that was my passion i was consistent about it Today I am a food critic. People invite me all over the city to cover their plush restaurants and what have you. I head Delhi for a coveted magazine just because I followed my passion. So your passion could be anything. Please keep your dreams alive and follow your passion. So we are what we do every day. If you smoke every day, you become a smoker, right? You drink every day you become an alcoholic you eat junk every day you become fat likewise if you write every day you become a writer you save and invest every day you become rich so it all depends on you what you want to do what's your name thanush thanush what i want to become an engineer in the future and first of all okay what's your full name thanush pathania thanush pathania over here and what have you received today which post vice head boy the vice head boy of dps indrapuram do you all know that he runs a company dhanush did you know you run a company no okay i'll tell you dhanush over here runs a company he is the ceo the head of operations the marketing manager and anything and everything you can think of regarding the company the company is called dhanush pathania at the rate private limited that's you you all over here run a company how you run this company is in your hands you have to decide how you will run each day of yours you are the ceo of the most valuable asset you will ever have please remember that i had a friend 
actually someone I ran into a couple of days ago and he was this cool dude from school and we were just talking what do you do what do I do and he tells me that he never joined the armed forces that was his dream and he regrets not having been a part of the armed forces and I asked him what went wrong he says he could not clear the medical the medical he was an athlete how could he of all people not have cleared the medical so he got into peer pressure and to fit in he started to smoke so it started off occasionally then he became a social smoker you know the tags they improve as you start to fit in and one day it just became a part of him he could not quit smoking and he kept saying to himself yaar chalta hai jab time aayega i will quit at the right time padhte bhi aise hi the we used to pull all nighters and you know we would finish the entire syllabus in one day flat but it doesn't work that way in the real world you see we don't rise to the occasion we fall to a level of training this training which you get today as dip sites as students please value that and decide how you want to run every day of yours this company which you own how you want to run it each day as i leave i'd like to leave you all with this one thought aspire to not just get a job but to build a career aspire not to just make a living but make a life and promise yourselves that no matter what happens you will do more than just survive you will not only excel but you will you will thrive as leaders of tomorrow as people who are the flag bearers of the school today and society tomorrow promise yourselves that you will make more than just money but you will make a difference a difference to not only your lives and that of your families but a difference to every life that you touch thank you